Number one, UEFA Euro 2020. So recently, one of the biggest football championships on the planet, UEFA Euro 2020, decided to host a poll on their Twitter account, asking people to vote for which song to be played at Wembley Stadium. Being the top K-pop group in the industry, BTS also made it as a nominee among Louis Tomlinson, Billie Eilish, and Usher, with one of their latest hits, Butter. The voting was sure one heated battle. And finally, after more than 4 million votes, BTS's Butter won, with 46.6% of voters choosing their song. Knowing that Butter would be played at the world's most anticipated event, the whole ARMY fandom was thrilled. However, their online celebration didn't last long, as the organizer of UEFA Euro announced the next day that they would play all four songs at Wembley Stadium. To make the situation even more confusing, they added two more artists to the list, Harry Styles and The Weeknd, who were not even mentioned in the original poll. This consequently made ARMY's effort all those days turn to dust, so of course the fandom had every right to be disappointed. They pointed out that the real problem here was not that all four songs would be played, but it was the fact that they made it sound like a legit poll just to gain interaction from BTS's fans. Both the fandom and BTS had to face so much hate and racism speeches from football fans around the world during the voting, yet it all seemed like nothing to the UEFA. It's appalling, ARMY said. Some fans even came up with the theory that the organizer had never planned to play better at first, but somehow BTS won the poll, so UEFA had no choice but to add better to the list. Not only were Korean fans outraged, but international fans were also furious with UEFA's decision, stating that the event was just using BTS for fame. However, many just didn't get why BTS's fans were even mad. They declared that BTS should be glad that Butters even played at the event because this is basically free marketing, a golden chance for BTS to reach more muggles. Football fans and even some armies believe that UEFA wouldn't need any more clout since this is the most anticipated show this year and one of the biggest sporting events in the world. Number 2. The Grammys 2021 The world's most prestigious music awards show, The Grammys, also got called out for taking advantage of BTS's name this year, as this is the first time ever a Korean group got nominated and had a solo performance at the Grammys. It's totally understandable that BTS's stage of their hit Dynamite was one of the most anticipated of the night. Sadly, however, BTS lost the Grammy for Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance to Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande's Rain On Me during the pre-show award handouts. But that ain't the main reason fans were upset, as this loss could already be foreseen by many. What really caused the fuss among the ARMY fandom was how the show wasn't transparent about BTS's appearance. The thing is that the organizer repeatedly mentioned BTS's name throughout the show, even though they got no award. Almost after every stage of other artists, the Grammys kept teasing, coming up next, BTS, or BTS's performance coming up in 10 minutes on the screen. Due to that, fans just kept waiting and couldn't quit watching as they feared they might miss the historic stage of their idols. Well, the most patient fandom award should be given to ARMY, because despite the continuous claim that BTS would appear in 10 minutes, they did not perform until almost the very end. Excuse me, why? Poor ARMYs had to sit through almost four hours just for one single stage, and they were indeed frustrated. This ultimately led to much online criticism toward the show. Yes, the Grammys is a very big award, no one can deny it, but seeing the view of BTS's post-event livestream go up to more than 11 million, while Grammys views this year was only 7 million, everyone can tell how powerful BTS's viewership is. This fact has begged the question of who needs who for clout among music fans. Armies were not the only ones defending BTS. Many newspapers have also stood by BTS's side, denouncing the Grammys for their blatant play to attract viewers. Number 3. Artie's Summer Playlist 2020 Featuring so many rising stars, including BTS in the lineup, Artie's Summer Playlist on Disney Channel should have been a fun night for young viewers. But after airing, it only pissed off BTS's fans as, once again, the most popular K-pop group was only used for fame. As everyone can see here on the show's poster, BTS's name was put on the first line, right after big names like Katy Perry or Sia. They even had their own poster for Artie's Summer Playlist. So it's obvious that BTS got marketed as an important guest of that show. Or so armies thought. The reality wasn't so funny for the fandom. BTS appeared for like 5 seconds out of the total duration of Artie's Summer Playlist. And they did not even perform anything really or get interviewed. All they did was casually dancing around and humming in the background for Sia's song Together. What seemed to create more anger among armies is that the show re-aired Sofia Carson's cover for Boy With Love at the 2019 Artie's Music Awards. Instead of letting BTS, 
the original artist, performed the song for themselves. Fans couldn't do anything else rather than vent their frustration on Twitter and YouTube. One fan said, They put Sophia Carson on my screen for so damn long, I was like, okay, BTS must be getting their little moment too, but nah. The show had them swaying a little, and that's it. I couldn't even hear their voices. Number 4. iHeartRadio Music Festival 2020 Last year, BTS got announced as one of the artists performing at iHeartRadio Music Festival. In the officially released poster, BTS's name was put at the very first, even before Coldplay or Miley Cyrus. Not only that, they even tagged the group first on their tweet as well. Though many fans were sure excited for the news, some were not super delighted as they suspected this radio never truly appreciated BTS's effort but only used them for views. Why's that? People pointed out that during an entire month before the news, Z100, which is one of iHeartRadio's most popular stations, only played BTS once. And it was their song Make It Right featuring Love. And they did not even play the whole song, but only four seconds. Some armies hoped that the music festival would lead to more radio spins for BTS's music. But some quickly shut the idea down as they bluntly claimed, Don't be naive. iHeart won't give BTS any spins after this. All they know is how to use them for clout and make them uncomfortable during interviews. All the situations above remind armies of what Halsey said on Zach Sang's show back in 2018. You know how protective they are, and rightfully so, because this is a band that has been, like, taken advantage of in many ways. You know what I mean? By people promising them spins and radio play in exchange for, you know, social media power. Since then, she has already brought up BTS's circumstances in Western shows, how they were being used just for social media power. Well, of course, some Western shows are already popular among a specific group of audience. But by putting BTS's name in, they ensure that their event can target even more people from different groups, hence boosting social media statistics as well as views. So what do you think about all the cases mentioned in our video? Do you know any other times when BTS's name was taken advantage of for fame? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to BeBossTV for more great content. Thank you for watching.